New York has over 4,000 coffee shops, and TikTok seems to recommend the same five. So today I'm gonna go to some, spend money I don't have, and answer the question that everybody's been wondering. What is the best coffee shop in New York City out of the five that I'm about to sample right now? Let's go find out. Okay, so I'm in Greenwich Village right now for my first stop, which is Amano Cafe. It's quite cold outside. been here before. I'll do a cortado. So this place is called Amano. I got a cortado. It has 4.5 out of 5 stars. Hold on. Okay. It's super bitter, to be honest with you. But I'm not going to sit here and act like I know how to talk about coffees. Let me see what notes I'm getting. I don't know how to measure this video because I'm not gonna get the same drink at every place And I guess that's the best way to measure it But I'm just gonna rate it on the drinks that I get how good I think they are with that being said I'm gonna rate this Cortado. I'm gonna rate it an 8.32 out of 10. By the way, it's extremely cold out. It could be colder. It's 24 degrees outside Love your nails, by the way. You too. There's a drug problem, isn't there? Fingers are disgustingly cold. If all your grandmamas got together and played a game of canasta outside, this is what their fingers would look like. Right off the bat, I'm gonna say the aesthetic here is 10 out of 10. I'm truly just enjoying sitting in here. I got a drip coffee, just a hot drip coffee with oat milk, so it's it's different than my last drink, but I still think it's comparable in terms of how the coffee itself tastes. This place is called my mom, by the way. Mom. Not my mom. This coffee has a little bit of oat milk in it, but that's pretty much it. And I would honestly say the taste is just good. It doesn't taste too bitter. I'm gonna rate this a 9.2 out of 10. I like it. Plus the vibes here are making the rating higher for sure. I would honestly give the aesthetic a 9.47 out of 10. A solid 8.2. I feel like the coffee taste is not as strong in this one, but it's still really good. They made me a second thing though. I think this is like a cappuccino or something. I'm a small girl, so I just at this point in the day, I couldn't have any more coffee. Oh my god, did she film? <laughs> you, can't fight. you got so much coffee. So I had to find a... <laughs> a <big girl. laughs> No, you're not bigger. I just. Where were you going? With I that? don't know. Taller. You're a little taller. Like an inch taller than me. You're Last night you turned to me and said, "We're about the same size." You could maybe you can like. <laughs> so I came all the way to Innocent yesterday on the east side to do a coffee review. I forgot my camera battery. I came all this way and I forgot my camera battery. But aesthetic, 10 out of 10. Flowers on the wall everywhere you look. If you love flowers, this is the place for you to be. If you're a vegan, this is a great place for you to be because everything is vegan. Everything. Except me, I'm not a vegan. This one was a 9 1. I actually really enjoyed this Cortado. So, Innocent Yesterday, you hit it out of the park. I was tasked by my girlfriend to go get her coffee, so I figured this was the perfect opportunity to do another review since I fucked up the last one. It's from Blank Street Coffee, and she looks like she got a latte with oat milk and hazelnut, so let's ask her how she likes it. Here you go. Thank you. That's actually really good. Actually? Actually. What would you rate it out of 10? I'd give it like an eight and a half, eight, honestly. Eight, eight, five? It's a latte, so there's espresso, and it doesn't have a strong espresso taste, like normal, so I don't know how much is really in it. It's supposed to be two shots. Your reviews? in 20 seconds was better than all of my reviews combined. You just knew what to say about coffee. You know what they call me. White. It's like sweet, but like not too sweet. It's aromatic. Can you try it? This is totally not the first time I'm trying it. 
pretty good, actually. Pretty freaking good. Although the cortado I had this morning from Innocent Somethings. Yesterday. Innocent. No, I had it this morning. Innocent, yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm going to give that an 8-7. If you like this video, then prove it. And maybe I'll make a part two. And comment down below some other coffee shops that you think I can go to around the Manhattan area. I mean, it doesn't necessarily even have to be Manhattan, but just comment down some coffee shops that you think that I should go to and do some reviews on. So I guess with everything being said, I have to pick my personal favorite experience that I've had this week in all these New York City coffee shops. I've been thinking about it, and I know I gave ratings, but despite all the ratings, I would say the best experience I had was in Maman King Coffee. The vibes were just immaculate. How do you like Paris? Paris? Yeah, the Arc de Triomphe. Oh, it's beautiful. If you like this video and you want to watch more, then click right here. And if you want to subscribe, click right here. Really?